Hello, hello everyone. This is CutiePie88 and thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. So today we have an interesting, so, so interesting, so exciting, such an exciting product to show you guys today. So, yo, okay, so I am so excited to be showing the world the new evolution in clip-ins. Clipping extensions. So this new evolution, revolution, this new, oh my gosh, it's gonna be sweeping the nation. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. So today I'm coming to you guys with a product review from Sensational. You know the company, we all know Sensational, but they have come out with a revolutionary new clip-in hair extension I cannot wait to try it. All right, so let's jump right into so it. So they sent me two packs of the seven piece set butterfly clipping hair extensions, otherwise known as Everly. Everly hair extensions. This is how the package looks. I'll try to get the whole thing in the shot. I love the packaging. Of course, the color of the packaging, the pink is super cute. It has a lot of information in the back. So they sent me two packs. Um, so one is the color two, and the other is the color one. So I got one pack of color one, and then the other color is number two. Y'all excuse my nails. Um, but they're both 22 inches. And once again, here is the package. And it is called Everly. And they have revolutionized the way clip-in hair extensions, the way they clip in your hair. So let me show you guys the detail on that. So it's seven piece set. And let me just read off some of the information on the back of the box. So it's one 10 inch weft, one seven inch weft, one five inch weft, two 3.5 inch wefts and two two inch wefts. Um, so that completes the seven piece set. So as far as the clip-ins, here is its features. Um, so it's the butterfly clip-in. It's 100% Remy human hair, ultra thin, seamless weft, instant volume and length. Of course, that's why we all love clip-ins. Um, they're secure. Tension free, that's the main thing ladies. Tension free, I cannot wait to show you guys this clip. So this clip in, it's tension free styling and it's simple DIY for everyone. So it's very simple, um, it comes in 25 colors from basic to mix, even two tone for ombre style. And yeah, it's unlike any conventional clip in. Um, the unique design gem gently hugs your hair. The design of the clip gently hugs your hair without pulling or creating tension. Now, we all know how the typical clip in works. The clip is at the top, you snatch it, and I know you ladies have felt some snags before in your hair. They have re revolutionized the way that's done. So we're gonna try it out today, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and unpack the color number one, and let's see what it's looking like. I haven't opened these yet, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox. So I like the fact that the package looks like a little half but butterfly. I just realized that. It looks like a half butterfly wing, so let me see if I put them together. Oh, like that, but you, go, you know what I mean. Butterfly clip-ins. Okay, so I have the box, I have it's unpackaged out of the plastic and they did send me a little information card, just more information about the design, the colors, and how it compares to traditional clip-ins. And yeah, let's go ahead and open it. All right, so let's get into the details of these clip-ins. So first of all, I'm loving the super thin silicone weft. It's really giving the vibes of a tape-in extension. I absolutely love how thin they are. And the way these clips are designed, they have a cushion um, in the back and it really contours to your head once you clip the clip-ins in. 
this is revolutionary i love um this creative style so this design is for less hair snag so it grips from the side and no teasing required it's made for all day comfort it's flexible um, it, like i said it has that silicone cushion layer and it hugs your hair and it um, claims to have an extra firm grip uh, the clip-ins are easy to wash and reuse and it's for pretty much any hair type you can remove it at home like i said it's reusable and just the flexible design is overall what makes this a great product so just some close-ups of the product um i did do a talk through on this part but my video was running a little long so i wanted to cut it short but also still show you guys the details so let's go ahead and unbox the color number one um, this is the same design the butterfly horizontal clip-in design that hugs your hair but this is the color number one it's definitely a jet black once again loving that silicone flexible seamless weft it's really giving tapins i absolutely love it it's so new and innovative and fresh i was definitely excited to try these so stay tuned i'm going to be installing these in just a minute All right, so let's start in with a two clip piece for the back and this is color number two. I did get a little tangle around the clip, but that's okay, it easily combed out. Um, just like normal clip-ins, you may get a tangle around the clip. So this is where I had to practice. Because of the horizontal design, I didn't know whether to slide the clip like horizontally or slide it down vertically when you get the clip you definitely have to um, play with it and learn um, because the way i was putting it in the clip was definitely sliding down now i do have very silky hair super silky hair and um everly clip says you do not have to tease your roots in order for it to stay but it just wasn't sticking it just wasn't staying for some reason um i love the look of the thin seamless hair um clip it really looks like tape-ins i absolutely love it but as you can see it i was struggling just a little bit for it to hold so i said you know what let me see how it will work if i did tease my roots and my hair was quite oily as well so I was like, hmm, let me see. Let me see if teasing would actually help. So I did take a brush and I did um, lightly tease my roots. And then I went in with the clip and it helped so much. It helped so much. So depending on your hair texture, you may or may not need to tease. Um, but for my hair texture, it definitely needed a tease. So I'll go ahead and continue the process up as normal. And you guys just watch and see how I install these clips. Stay tuned.
Okay, so this one went in really nicely. Y'all excuse my part. I could not find my red tail comb to save my life. <laughs> but this one went in really nicely, like I said, with teasing my roots really help. Um, and I would recommend using a dry shampoo as well if your hair is oily, like I said before. But giving this, doing this layer effect with the color two and number one is gonna give some really nice highlights. Now I was having issues with the side of my head, like near the temples. Um, I couldn't get it to grip. Um, but I think I'm running into that common problem, just depending on your hair type, it'll easily grip or it may take a few tries. But in the end, I did get it to lay pretty snugly. Okay, you guys, so I am all done putting in the amount of clip-ins that I am satisfied with, the thickness and everything like that. So the top of my hair is going to be used as leave out, but let me show you guys the length and the color. As you can see, it's this piece in my back of my head that will not blend. That's why I wanted to braid the back up to avoid that, but that's my problem. <laughs> it may not be your problem, um, but other than that, just focusing on the hair, it is super silky and I love the natural density of this hair. I absolutely love the highlight effect that it's giving. And yeah, so far so good. So in a minute, I'm just going to add some edge control to my edges, add a little bit of curl at the end of the hair and then that is it. So stay tuned for my final thoughts. Welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for staying tuned to the end of this video. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Everly Butterfly Clip-Ins. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is the revolutionary new style of clip-ins by Sensationelle. And I was super excited to try these. So let's go over some pros and cons of these clip-ins compared to traditional clip-ins in my opinion. So number one, I'm just focusing on the pros, um, the positives of the hair. The hair is very silky, it's luxurious, it's tangle free, and it does not shed. I absolutely love the silkiness of this hair. Um, it has a nice sheen to it. Um, I really, really like the hair. It's giving a natural density. Um, yeah, so I'm really loving the hair. And um, it's not, thin either i do like the density of the hair it's like a natural density each clip like the hair isn't thin it's a nice thickness to the hair which i love um yeah and i think they look really really good i think they would match a relaxed um, girl's hair perfectly or a natural girl um you know with a silk press um i really really do love the look of these it's so silky and it's really really nice 
Um, the clips, I feel like they are very comfortable on my head. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. I don't, I don't feel like metal against my head or anything. I don't feel like anything is snagging. I don't feel like anything is going anywhere. Um, and they were easy to put on. They were easy to put on. They kind of snapped in place by themselves. And um, yeah, it was quite a unique experience um, putting these on. So definitely want to thank Sensational for giving me the chance to um, try these new revolutionary clip-ins. Like, I love it. Now let's get into the cons of these clip-ins. Um, number one, I do feel like it's going to take some practice for you to get used to this style of clip-in. If you're just used to the regular style, it's gonna take some practice. Do you slide it in from the side? Do you slide it in from the top? Um, so definitely it's gonna take some practice. After a while, I did get the hang of it, um, but definitely it's gonna um, take some practice. Um, number two, um, I wish they did feel a little bit more secure against my head. I do like the fact that they're really lightweight and you can't feel them, but also can't, not being able to feel them kind of equates with them not being secure. Um, they did pass the tug test, like they definitely passed the tug test. They're not going anywhere, but I do feel like they kind of flipped out of place easier um, with the clip being on the, um, like horizontally. Um, like that, I mean, they're all horizontal, <laughs> but um, the way they're made, it just feels like they would kind of flip out of place. Um, but one, going back to the pros, I don't feel any snagging either. I don't feel any snagging on my hair, which is great. Um, but back to the con, you do have to tease your hair at the root. They're not really a con, it's just something that you have to do with traditional clip-ins too. I did want to mention it does claim that teasing is not required, but I did find that since my hair is silky, it needed teasing. Make sure you tease, just a tip, make sure you tease the roots of your hair or this clip will not grip. It will not grip. Um, you definitely need to tease your roots a little bit. Overall, I definitely give this hair I give the hair, oh my gosh, like a nine out of 10. And I also did wanna pause here and say, make sure your real hair is washed or you use a dry shampoo. If you have oily hair, this hairstyle will look oily really quickly. So either use a dry shampoo or make sure your hair is washed. <laughs> like this hair is so, so gorgeous. It's so silky and nice. Um, as far as the clip-in experience, I give it around maybe a 7.5. Um, I did, like I said, have to kind of tussle with it a little bit to figure out how what was the best way. Um, it took me a little while maybe to the top to really get in the rhythm. And um, I do feel like they lay flat, but just not flat enough for me because it does have that little, um, the bulking a little bit around the, the seamless part. Um, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as I've seen other ones where it's just so hard around the, the top area. But that is all I have for this video. Um, like I said, I just wanted to give some pros and cons. I do suggest you giving these clips a try, especially if you really think they will work for you. Um, I can see myself definitely wearing these clip-ins again. Like I said, just taking some more practice. I do want to kind of put some more curls in it and things like that, but I didn't just for the sake of this video. And I wanted you guys to see the silkiness of the hair right out of the box. But I do have about five pieces left um, out of a 14 piece set, which is two sets of seven. I have about five clips left. So I do suggest buying two packs for a full head. But if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. And once again, thank you Sensational for allowing me to review this product. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you're loving these clips. And the link will be down below as well. Thanks for watching you guys, bye.